Madam Chair, I move to second the last word. Madam Chair, this committee is tasked with some of the most important legislative work in Congress, particularly when it comes to meeting the needs of parents or those who want to become parents. On its face, this bill may appear to ensure students are informed of available resources and the way students can continue to access their education while pregnant, but in fact, it is an attempt to dissuade students from considering or utilizing abortion services and make it more difficult for students to receive full and accurate information <laughs> on their rights, including rights that are already protected under Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972. This is why dozens of health and reproductive rights organizations, such as the National Women's Law Center, the National Partnership for Women and Families, and the American Civil Liberties Union, have asserted that the bill, quote, falls far short of the protections that are actually necessary for pregnant and parenting students and their, and their children. The letter further states that the bill is a th thinly veiled anti-abortion in nature and that it would not address key barriers to pregnant students' educational attainment and instead would further shame and stigmatize people for their pregnancy outcomes. Madam Chair, in fact, the ANS goes even further than the original text by further narrowing the scope of the information provided to students and students, which it's, uh, students to which it's provided. It only provides information to students about carrying a child to term and caring for the child after birth. This further isolates students who may seek an abortion or those who suffer a miscarriage or stillbirth. Further, the ANS makes it clear that the bill should not be interpreted to authorize the requirement to distribute information beyond what's in the bill. It's worth noting that Title IX, which prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex and education programs or, act or activities that receive federal funding, and it provides, provides discriminating against students on the basis of a student's pregnancy, childbirth, false pregnancy, termination of pregnancy, or recovery therefrom. These requirements ensure that students are not denied or otherwise limited access to educational programs or activities based on their pregnancy or related medical conditions. This includes the range of pregnancy-related conditions, including abortion and miscarriage. This bill does not alter or change an institution's responsibility under Title IX. Rather, it cherry-picks certain information to share with certain students. Committee Democrats remain committed to ensuring that all students, including those who choose to become parents, are set up for educational success and much more needs to be done to support the financial security of our nation's students. We've introduced numerous pieces of legislation that would better support parents, including students who are parents, such as through expansion of affordable child care, raising the federal minimum wage to provide family sustaining, in family sustaining pay, and others, and troubling, the bill does not provide any additional resources or grant any additional rights to pregnant or parenting students, leaving those uh, the bill purports to help in the same with the same inadequate resources, such as unaffordable child care, as without the bill. And our choice efforts, such as those underpinning the bill, only make it harder for students to succeed, and many students are experiencing new and added stress when navigating their health and access to health care. This bill and the ANS are simply not an earnest attempt to support students. There's a lot more that we can do to support students, but this doesn't do it. We continue to fight the abortion, as we continue to fight for abortion rights and reproductive autonomy, we must ensure that students are fully informed of all options regarding their reproductive health care and wellness. So I oppose the amendment as well as the underlying bill and yield back the balance of my time.